So before this video truly begins, I would like to say that any statements expressed in this video do not express any of my true feelings toward the series itself, and that everything is said is intended for purposes of satire and comedy. In case you didn't hear that, I will repeat that this video is intended for satire and comedy. So if you take the title at face value and go to the comments section to bitch about it, I will laugh mercilessly at your stupidity. I can't believe I saw Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> You suck. Good for you. Good for you. Good for you. Good, you know what? Good for you. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Open sesame. Well, I've done all I can. Edge style. Hello, sir. Welcome to this restaurant. Yes, thank you. Would you like something to drink? Yeah, baby, I'm thirsty. Okay. Well, can, can, uh, can I? Mm. I'll have a Coke, please. Sure. Cool. Pepsi's okay, right? Wait, what? We only have Pepsi, sir. Coca-Cola! Uh, excuse me? Coca-Cola! Coca-Cola! Sir, I... We don't have it. Coca-Cola! Coca-Cola! Okay, fine. Uh, here, here you go. Thanks. Woo! You died like 20 times already! Just let me play! Mm. Determination! That's it! Give me the controller, I dude! I got it this time! Just give me one mo- uh. Please be gentle. What? So, it's raining, right? And you pass a bus stop. There are three people there. Your most trustworthy friend, a pregnant woman who has to go to the hospital, and the girl of your dreams. Your smart car only has two seats. What do you do? Oh, I, I've heard this one. You give the car to your most trustworthy friend, he takes the pregnant lady to the hospital, and then you stay at the bus stop with the girl of your dreams. No. You go home and re-evaluate your fucking life! You bought a smart car! My dark circles are literally too dark to put concealer on. Cool. My lips are literally so small. My nose is so big. And my eyebrows are so bushy. What else is wrong with me, Rachel? What? I'm you when you were little. You said my dark circles were too dark. My nose was too big, my lips were too small, and my eyebrows were too bushy. What else is wrong with me, Rachel? There's nothing wrong with you. No, go ahead, Rachel. Tell me everything you hate about me. No, I'm not going to do that. That's exactly what you're doing to yourself right now. Tell me my stretch marks are ugly. No, I can't. What do you think about the scar near my eye? What do you think about my hairy arms or my ugly feet? They're beautiful. You're beautiful. Then why can't you say that to yourself? Look in the mirror. That's your only competition. Luckily, the competition is ugly. How to tell your loved ones you need help. Step 1. Bring it up in a conversation gently. Hey, Tori. Uh, knock, knock. Oh, who's there? Crippling depression. Crippling depression who? Me! Step 2. Stay brave. Don't back out. Uh, um... Well, anyway, I'm going to Grillby. See ya! <laughs> Step 3. Commit yourself to proper... Uh... <laughs> あきらめんなよ。諦めんなよ、お前。どうしてそこでやめるんだ、そこで。もう少し頑張ってみろよ。ダメダメダメ、やめ、諦めたら。周りのことを思えよ。応援してる人たちのことを思ってみろって。あとも
There you are. Sephiroth. You've come back to me. Where you belong. What are you talking about? You cling to me. Because you can't stand the despair. I don't remember ever clinging to you. <laughs> Relax. This disease called hope is eating you alive. The world of suffering was born out of such half-baked ideals. If that's the case, then I have to endure the suffering. There's no moving on if I keep running from it. <laughs> if that is what you wish for, then... You shall drown in a pain. On your knees, I want you to beg for forgiveness. <sighs> what is it that drives you? Only myself. You don't exist... anywhere. Enough! Searching for a reason to fight. Wandering around for an answer. They're all my decisions. I'm not tied to you anymore. Hmm. And yet... my shadow... is burned into your heart. <laughs> Emily, I'll keep coming back as long as you are who you are.ゆぶねで出し取られてこい。出るわけないだろ。あ豚のお前じゃねえんだから、シュバインさんよ。俺様を。豚と呼ぶんじゃねえ。マジうざいわね、あんた。だからマゼってるって。顔見られた後だとなん